It's over two weeks since Leeds United were last in action. That thrilling win at Wolverhampton. But despite the long break, Leeds United will hope to keep the momentum going from this game at Ellen Road this afternoon against Southampton. Survival is now very much in sight, but Leeds need to put more points on the board to ensure they'll be playing Premier League football again next season. Dallas arms raised, leaves Harrison to it. Harrison swings the ball in, heads up in the far post, and it's a header just wide. And it's hands to the head for Llorente there because he had a clear sight of goal, just couldn't direct the ball inside the post. Great early opportunity for Leeds in the opening minutes. Well, that's all he needed to do was just get it on target. Brilliant ball in, six-yard box. It's a nice height. Llorente's free, and he really has to do better. Any sort of clean contact with that would have been in the back of the net. Forshaw wins the ball back for Leeds in the midfield. Now Leeds come again. Now Llorente dragged back there. And Leeds are allowed to continue because they have the possession. Left side of the penalty area. Rodrigo holding it up on the edge of the box. Awaiting support. Plays a little ball inside the defender. Nice idea. And Stuart Dallas responds well. Harrison wins it back. And plays it into the penalty area. Dan James turns goal. Comes for a three. And what a start this is from Leeds United. And again the ball is still there for Harrison. Far side of the penalty area. Jack Harrison looks for a bit of help. Wall of black shirts in front of him, gives it to Rodrigo, low drive in, Jan James chipped it up, Ailing's on this near side, tees it up for Klee, oh. shoots! And he's put it wide, and that was a terrific period of pressure from Leeds United, and Mateus Klee, if he'd have got that one on target, might well have scored the opening goal. Oh, it's a wonderful play, but did it hit Rafinha on the way through? I think Rafinha got in the way, but really good play in and around the box from Leeds, and then when it comes out to click, I think it's just... He does as well, going wide, not sure it's coming back on target, but so far it has been an excellent start. Here's Rafinha, shoots goalwards, played in by Harrison, left side, but the shot was straight, and it was straight into the hands of Fraser Forster. And uh, again, nicely worked opening down that left-hand side. Yeah, another really good attack. We're finding some good areas of the pitch. And this time, couldn't quite get it past the keeper. Adams, good footwork in the middle of the Leeds half to run a loop. And he attacks Leeds now, and the ball is almost laid off for Adams, with a great interception by Liam Cooper. Now can Leeds counter-attack with Harrison. This game's breathless. Rodrigo in the centre circle, plays it through for Dan James. James gets in behind. Dan James on his right foot, low drive. Forster stretches an arm out and makes the save. Referee's looking long and hard at this, and the assistant near side says, goal kick. There you go. Well, you know, he doesn't know, does he? He's waiting and waiting for an indication. But that's where I think Dan James is effective, when it's just over the top. He uses his pace. Earlier in the move as well, we had another great chance, Dan James on the right channel. And he's not the one that sets it off to others. He's the one that gets that third man running in behind. Good strike across the keeper, good save from Fraser. And it comes to the near post, hit the post, and then it's just chipped up in the air on the goal line. Big appeal for handball, and it's driven in. And then the referee has given a free kick to Southampton for a push somewhere in the midst of all of that. Rodrigo, Rodrigo's the one that just pushed his centre half Bednarek in the back. He swivelled and then volleyed towards goal. But the ball initially from Rafinha, I thought it was a poor one, but it hit the post. It somehow wriggled all the way through, hit the post, and then caused absolutely panic. And there you see in the replay. Rodrigo pushing it in the back, but the pressure is coming. We just need that goal. Rafinha down this right hand side, nicks the ball beyond Walker Peters. Cleek is helping him. Cleek has it back to Rafinha just outside the penalty area. Oh, he's. Almost worked the ball through, gets it in from the byline, Forster clears, Harrison yes. stabs it into the back of the net! And Leeds United have the lead here, and Jack Harrison, from close range, got enough on the ball to see it spinning over the goal line, and the celebrations begin behind the goal. Leeds United's pressure pays, Leeds 1, Southampton 0. Oh, excellent finish, Southampton players are complaining, but... 
Just for a minute, I wasn't sure if it was going to be allowed, and everything seemed to stop, but good play from Rafinha on the right-hand side. Keeps the ball in, and eventually, when it does come back out, there is Harrison, just to tuck it away. Not the most convincing of finishes, but it does not matter. And looking at it again, it's very close to going out. Fraser Forster should do a lot better. Gets a hand to it, and all he can do is just paddle it back into the middle of the goal. And there's Jack Harrison to get something on the ball. Spins it in the back of the net, I don't care how they go in. It's a goal! Ednarek, who gives it back to Solisha, but the central defenders roll up in the lead half here. And then the ball up to the edge of the penalty area. Brozier and Llorente involved in a real battle. And it's given back to Walker Peters, who's threads it into Romelu. And then it's played into Shea Adams to turn one way. Great chance. Oh, what a save oh, from Melier. Save. Can he's clear? What, a, what save. a save from Melier that is. Because Shea Adams saw his chance to stab the ball in. And Melier's reaction was brilliant. Arm outstretched to his left hand side. Terrific stop. Absolutely incredible. Melier's made some tremendous saves. Add another one to that list. Shea Adams does really well, twists and turns, finds himself in half a yard and then places it into the bottom corner, but Millier stretched out to his left, somehow keeps that one out. Dallas does well to get back and help out his keeper as well. Arnold holds its collective breath. As the signal is given, Ward-Prowse whips it in! That's a terrific free kick from James Ward-Prowse and it sails up into the top corner of the net and oh, Southampton are level. Basically like kick. a penalty for yeah. them, that? Just incredible, the accuracy that he has got from those sort of areas. He puts so much power and pace on the ball, yet still can bend it, get it up and over the wall and firing down into the top corner. Melier tries to get across to it, but can't keep it out. We've seen it so many times with Ward Prowse, and this is another beauty. It really is up and over the wall. Melia, I think, will be slightly disappointed because he gets a hand too, and it's not right in the very corner. However, it is a superb free kick. Walker Peters again, he's into the penalty area, Ailing blocks it off. And then a hesitation from Diallo allows Llorente to step in. And now Leeds can counter-attack. Rodrigo, good first touch. Rodrigo's carrying the ball further forward for Leeds. Rodrigo into the penalty area, holds the ball up, Rodrigo plays it for Rafinha. Rafinha to shoot! Oh, oh he's put it over the top! Got his boot underneath the ball there. Didn't get power, didn't get precision, just over the crossbar. Unbelievably, the easiest part of the move is Rafinha just putting it away. He couldn't do because he did everything right. Great run, it wasn't from Rodrigo. Just drifts past Romeo in the Southampton midfield, and after that, he is in, gets his head up, plays the right pass as well, eventually to Rafinha, who allows it to run across his body, sets it up and just hit the target. He leans back and over it goes, but it's a great move. I thought that was going to end up nestling in the back of the net on that favoured left foot, but not this time. Calvin Phillips is about to return to action for Leeds, and it's Matthias Kleek is the man who's going to depart, and that 43 replaced by 23, and that is a great sight for every Leeds United supporter. It's been a long time coming. Down the line it goes to Rafinha, can Rafinha play in field to Rodrigo, gets it back off Rodrigo, streaking forward down the right-hand touchline, Rafinha looks into the penalty area, Gelhart slips, plays the ball for Forshaw, Forshaw to shoot, blocked, and Southampton get bodies across in front of Adam Forshaw at the key moment there. It's a great opening, Leeds get it back though, Dallas can push down this left-hand side, Stuart Dallas up to the edge of the penalty area, Dallas shoot, into the gap shoot. for Gelhart. Gellhart across the middle, it's still there for Dallas to shoot. Shoots goal as Forster pushes it away almost off the goal line. And Southampton just raced the ball away down that left-hand side. 
and Leeds suddenly creating openings of their own on left and right and they have the ball here but the goalkeeper the Leeds have won good possession back on the far side but in fairness Forster has collided with his teammate Walker Peters and both stay down on the turf yeah as the ball went in they both went for it and just unfortunately collided and down they've gone but another really good opportunity we step in and win the ball back with Stuart Dallas and when Gohart gets on the left-hand side, just tries to get it across. The volley from Dallas, and that's when the keeper and Walker-Peters go for it. And down they go, but good pressure from us. Couldn't quite find the right ball at the end of it. Llorente out wide to Stuart Dallas. Dallas... Plays a ball down the line for Gelhart. Holds it up on that far side. Can't keep the ball in, though. Difficult. He was in motion as he came towards the ball there. And he comes off him. And that is the last action of the game. So Leeds United have to settle for a point here against Southampton. It's been an all-action afternoon. The Leeds in front at half-time. And Ward Prowse then given the opportunity with a free kick to draw Southampton level at the start of the second half. From that point on, Leeds probably had the better of it, created the better moments, but have to ultimately be happy with a single point, a single point towards a target Leeds are seeking to achieve to ensure Premier League football again next season. It's finished here at Ellen Road, Leeds United won, Southampton won. Well, certainly another point towards safety. I think when you go 1-0 up and, and don't go and get all three points, it is slightly disappointing, but you saw it first 15 minutes of the second half, Southampton came back strongly, they looked good, they were having a chance after chance, but then I thought we got a grip of the game and we just couldn't quite find the ball to put it in that back of the net, but another good performance, so that a decent side, but a little disappointed we didn't take all three.